Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking onto this video. I hope and pray that all is well with you and your family and you are staying safe in these streets. <laughs> well, in today's video, I wanted to show you how I made this delicious fish stew. It is so simple. It's a good meal idea for dinner, for lunch. It's very quick and it's simple and you can modify it to make it as tasty as you want it to make want to make it um so stay tuned if you wanted to see how i made this fish stew um if you are watching and you are not subscribed i would just request if you can subscribe to my channel and um for more content all right and hit the bell button please to be notified of whenever i do upload a, a video to this channel all right, so let's get into the video. I'm boiling the sweet potato here. All right. I already went ahead and cut up my seasonings from my stew, onions, cilantro and parsley mix, ginger, green pepper, yellow, scallions, and we have some little garlic here. Okay. So it was seasoned with some honey seasoning and um, <clears throat> put it in the fridge for about half an hour. Fried. If you guys want to know how to make homemade seasoning and to clean and season fish, let me know and I'll do a video for you. Alright, here's my flour mix. So it's a maybe like a half a cup of flour and I added some salt, some dried thyme, a little bit of black pepper and some five spice seasoning to the flour. I like to season my flour whenever I'm frying fish because it helps to give it a nice taste. So here's a close up of the fish. All right guys, so the first thing that I do is I season my fish and I put it in the fridge for about an hour, hour and a half, almost two hours. Then I fry it before I make the stew. So as you saw previously, um, I do like to season the flour as well so that it will help to give the fish a nice little zhuzh, you know, it tastes a little nice. You don't have to um, season your flour, but th this is something that I like to do. So I'm just flipping the fish over and letting it fry. And I used um, fish fillet, and this is, I wanna believe, red snapper fish fillet. Now it's time to make the stew or the sauce so I'm using oil obviously and I'm gonna let the oil heat up and the first thing I like to cook is the garlic and the ginger this this, this will um, be used as my opening flavors and I'm using some Chinese sauce for the uh, to get the brown color you can use uh, soy sauce if you want to um, or whatever you use to get your brown coloring all right and as you can see I'm cooking the garlic first then I'm gonna add the remainder of my seasonings not all of it I like to add some onions some of the cilantro the green onions as well and let those uh, saute for a minute or so and then I'm going to add the Chinese sauce which you'll see the 
my sester sauce for flavoring and now I'm going to add some water all right because you want gravy so you gotta add water and then I added barbecue sauce to give it an extra um, kick you know to, and to make it a little bit more brown as well so you'll see as the video continues to progress that's the barbecue sauce that I added you know in Guyana when you're making um, brown stew chicken or stew fish you like to burn sugar when you burn sugar it just give it a nice brown but you got to burn it a certain way and you can't really do it here because the fire alarm will go off <laughs> you don't want to do that so I'm adding salt then I'm adding my additional flavoring seasonings this is five spice then I went ahead and I added some um, dried thyme and I let all of that cook and it was smelling so good guys you don't know <laughs> It smells so good. Then I went ahead and I added the fish and I just stirred it up so that all of the fish will be coated in the brown um, juice, uh, the stew. And I let that cook for two minutes. Then I added some pepper. If you can't find the really pepper, you can use scotch bonnet pepper. It should be done now. So let me see what's going on here. So, as you saw, I, I, I added two weary weary pepper. <laughs> and um, I did add some more water to it, just so it will have some more gravy. Well guys, this brings me to the end of the video. The food is done. Everything took about an hour from preparation to the final result. So that's a good time frame. Um, if you do decide to try this out, please let me know in the comment section. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you will get to cooking. Cooking is fun. <laughs> Alright guys, God bless you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and supporting. I will see you in another video very soon. Take care, enjoy, be safe, be blessed, stay covered under the mighty blood of Jesus. Bye! <laughs>